what is the psychology behind you liking to be? You said you're a female cuckold, which I don't know if I know anybody who's described themselves that way, but is it something about like, do you, okay. So do you like to know the guy you're with is banging somebody else or you like the guy that you're with to know that you're with somebody else? Uh, I like to know that they were with somebody else. Because this is how the thing is with, with porn for me. So, like, my personal sex life is different than my, like, on set sex life. And when I'm on set, I have to dirty talk the entire time. That's, like, my thing. Which, when I, like, I do do in my personal life to an extent. Um, but technically, I was, like, my favorite porno was talk dirty to me. And it was the guy that talked dirty the entire time. So I feel like when a guy is saying how much he got this girl off and how this is what I did to her, it it opens up that door for dirty talk. And I don't care if that he doesn't want to be like, oh, I want to do this to you. Because he's already going to do it. Because all I'm going to do is say, I want you to do this to me. And most guys, they like when you tell them, this is what you want. I have never had, I have to say, I think, I, I, yeah, I've never had a guy that was like, I hate that you tell me what you want. I've never had a guy say that to me. Right. Because <laughs> so, they guys don't know what to do. Like they, even the ones that think they're cocky, I feel like nobody really knows. Everyone's Aww. different. You got to figure it out. And your body is different every day. Like every day True. your body is different. Like let's just say like you had the high tachi on your clip for most of the day. Maybe you like masturbated several, <laughs> several times. Several times until it. your vibrator died. And then you're like, you know what? I need to start the day. I need to get up out of bed. It is noon. Yeah. <laughs> and like, you know, they they want to get you off and they're like going after your clip. Well, your clip's gonna be super sensitive and it's probably gonna be hard for you to get off that way. So you say, Hey, ah! can you yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be yelling at you. Just and read to me. Away. Yeah, just tell me a story. <laughs> uh. So I actually will tell like if my body is super really sensitive in one area or another. I actually tell them to do different things. I'll be like, Hey, my clit is sensitive. I want you to do this. Or, uh, instead of like fingering me right away, can you like tease me a little bit? I think people forget the art of tease because I love to be yes. teased and a lot of people don't do that. And I'm just like, really? Like, come on now. You have to have your, your, like the main entree before you have your dessert. So like tease me a little bit, you know, I agree 1000%. I don't know if it's like, a, like a getting older thing or like, as you get older, the guys you're with are also older, but it's like, I remember being like in high school and it's like, of course, cause you were, people weren't really, at least cause I was like a mega prude. Like I was not trying to have sex right away in high school. And so it's like, Oh, it's like the person was like, trying to go as far as they could and make you beg so for it. Like, that was the best why did we stop doing that like, like wouldn't sometimes... you want to get your partner to the point where they're like losing their mind so yeah, yeah. even if you know the person very very well and you know where, right where to go some people go oh limited time maybe they gotta get a quick one in quick ones in occasionally of course are fine yeah. but yeah like oh the don't neglect the tease exactly but like come on like sometimes it's nice just to have like a nice little make out session remember like back in like high school or something you just yeah, make out like car. just passionately make out at the beach mm -hmm. behind the deli dumpster because you had to sneak yeah. away yeah, yeah poor like guys 